hi guys prashintas here and i'm back with another basic java tutorial so today we are going to discuss about system.out.println in java and how does it help in displaying information in the console now before we dive into the actual topic let us see a common example that will make our course easy suppose you have a class student now class student contains a public static string variable named as name it is assigned the value anand now we have a method named as get name length this method helps in fetching the length of the string name so let's have a look at how we get the length now since name is a static variable it can be directly called or accessed using the class name therefore int length is equal to student dot name dot length so the combination stands as class name dot variable name dot method so student is a class name name is a static variable of type string and length is a method of string similarly if you have a look at system dot out dot print ln you will find that system is a class out is a static variable in system class of type print stream and print ln is a method of print stream thus you can see the structural similarities between student dot name dot length and system dot out dot print ln now if we have a look at the actual out variable in the system class it is declared as public final static print stream out is equal to null print stream the null print stream method actually returns null therefore the out variable is null so how can this null variable access a method and not give null pointer exception this is one of the questions that is asked in interviews following the discussions on system.out.println so the answer is system.out is initialized to null when the class is initiated now when the jvm has been initialized it calls the initialize system class method this method calls the native method set out which sets the out variable to a appropriate value now this is kind of a setter method therefore our out variable is not null when it accesses the print ln method now the question arises like what is a native method and how does it set the value of a final variable so for time being or for beginners a native method is a java method whose implementation is also written in another programming language now these native methods don't have to respect the final modifier hence they can set the value of final variable out and make it not null thus when an out variable accesses the print ln method it does not give a null pointer exception so guys if you found the video informative please like the video share the video with your friends and uh, subscribe to the channel for more such short videos